Hey guys, it's Kalex. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing a speed build today for you guys. And we are doing a island living kind of speed build. So this is in Sulani, obviously. Um, and it is on the... Which lot is it? It's on the lot. It's called Key Point or something like that. But I ended up calling it Lagoon Pier or Pier. I think it, it's, it's pronounced Lagoon Pier. Because <laughs> this house has like, it's like a beach house sort of, but like, um, I would not say bungalow, but because I really don't know like <laughs> what the style of this house could possibly be. Um, I just pretty much looked at a few pictures of like houses and I don't know, I just like got like a kind of like an idea and I just came up with this kind of house, which took me like really 30 minutes less than like two hours, really. Uh, so it wasn't really that long, uh, which is really good since this video is only 13 minutes long. Thank God. <laughs> Not saying like if it was any longer, I'd probably die. But like, hey, <laughs> I'm not going to literally die. But I mean, like, it would be one long voiceover. Um, but we we got this. We're going to do this. We're going to knock this out of the park like it is baseball. <laughs> that was that was ratchet. Um but anyway, so this beach house, I don't know, like, I got, like, a little thought of um, creating, like, a farm kind of beach house. Like, maybe someone who has, like, money and they kind of, like, not even kind of, like, they farm and, like, they live off land, sort of. But they still have kitchen appliances and stuff like that. And, you know, like, they have a house. But, I mean, like, they actually, um, like live off the land also like they grow their own crops and they fish for like their own fish meals and stuff like that I said fish meals <laughs> they fish so they catch their own fish and stuff like that and you know they might even own a like restaurant in Sulani but you know it's for like seafood and stuff like that that would be really cool to build a seafood restaurant though oh my god that's that's an idea that I'm gonna lock in now <laughs> we're gonna build that soon um, I don't know when, but at this moment, I have a lot of um, new Let's Plays coming out, and also including the Island of Let's Play. I got some more episodes of that coming out, um, and yeah, so we have a lot going on. <laughs> I'm trying to get videos out, like, every day, except for Saturdays and Sundays, because, you know, <laughs> on the weekends, that's when I usually record videos, so... I don't really do my voiceovers and stuff on the weekends, so it would be impossible to do, like, a video. Unless it was, like, a Creative Sim video, and I don't do any voiceover on it, then that'd be Gucci. Because, <laughs> like, I don't have to do a voiceover. I can just slap some music in there, and then we'll be all right. <laughs> but I don't want to just do that, you know? I want to create videos that have, like, my voice and stuff like that. Create good good qu quality content that I can, that I can most most possibly managed to get out okay like in my best abilities basically is what i'm trying to say so because i don't have the most um high techy equipment right now like i have a beginner's <laughs> equipment so we're working with what we got and what we got is still pretty good you know until we get start getting um more viewers and you know getting more out there then we'll need more better um you know, high techy stuff. <laughs> like we can get a uh, microphone, and we can get my my number one thing is getting a new computer. Cause right now I have a laptop, and I went through literally like two, three laptops, and really none of them at this moment have fulfilled my needs of what I need for The Sims. <laughs> uh, because The Sims, as we all know. Um, is nothing like The Sims 3 or The Sims 2. So the graphics and everything are more hardcore and um, not like hardcore gaming, but like it's kind of there. You know, it's kind of almost there with the graphics and everything. Because if you don't have a good running computer, like I have a good running computer, yes. But if you don't have like a good graphics card that's like, you know, it's going to cost you some money um, or like... I have 8 gigabytes of RAM right now, so that kind of holds medium settings in my game. But if you want like something like high or ultra, you might want to go for like 16 gigabytes. Just saying, because I have 8 gigabytes right now, and I run my game on medium settings. And if I try to run it on high 
or like ultra it will lag out tremendously and uh, it won't be it won't be very um, great <laughs> especially when you're trying to make videos so your game would just lag out just terribly and it just would not be a great time um, so just saying you know that's what I'm looking forward to get so hopefully this Christmas time um, I'm gonna be able to get that for sure hopefully like I said it last time but this time I'm so serious because I have my heart set on it and we're gonna do it because <laughs> I saw a computer at the store that I went to so I saw one it's not really a computer it's a it is a computer but like I'm trying to say like it's not a laptop that I have because uh, desktops are cheaper than laptops when it comes to getting uh, the same specs compared to a laptop and a desktop desktops are always cheaper okay the reason why laptops are so freaking high is because though the same specs that you would get in a desktop goes into a laptop as well but the price is higher which is because the laptop is compatible not compatible but the laptop is what is the word I'm trying to say like it's um you're able to take it other places and stuff and like a desktop it just sits there like you have to have it sitting on a desk like a laptop it's portable like something like that's what I'm trying to say like portable so like, you could take it wherever freaking on the airplane freaking anywhere like in your car and play it like that's why it's higher because you can take it anywhere you go but like a desktop is like you have to buy the um separate things like you have to buy the monitor you have to buy the um, motherboard like you know like the the thing <laughs> I'm trying to get the name of it but like I can't think right now um, it's a lot going on right now I'm trying to pre-record -pre a lot of videos because like I said I want to get more videos out than I used to do because I used to do like I would make a video a day and <laughs> by doing that if you like for me or really anyone else like if you make if you go by each day making a video for like that day that you're making that video on um you're not gonna really stick to that every day like trust me on that like you can tell yourself you will but like there's always like gonna be like a time where you're not gonna be able to make that video or that video is gonna be late or you know you may end up not feeling like making a video that day so you feel like you're um obligated to make a video but you know you gotta get one out uh, so you end up either one uh, rushing the video, two procrastinating all the way until like the video is late, or three you end up not making a video at all, and like you can just you'll just like stress out, like you'll stress your day out just thinking about I have to make a video. What am I gonna do? I don't have a video out yet, or I'm trying to make a video, but it's just it's not good right now. Um, I'm just gonna skip today. Like you know, you're just gonna stress yourself out, and I've been through that a lot. And so now I'm trying to make a change for myself and I am trying to make more videos but like try to pre-record so that I can have a day where I'm like, whew, okay, don't have to make a video today, um, don't have to worry about getting a video out for today. There's already a video being scheduled for today so I'm good. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do and I've already done that now so I did have a video posted for today and this video is going to be going up tomorrow um, which is Thursday so you guys are seeing it right now it's already up <laughs> but yeah I've pre-recorded this video and also I have some other videos that I have to load up onto YouTube and schedule them so I'm on track for a good start <laughs> Uh, but I think we're getting sort of close. Um, actually, no, we have like four minutes left. Uh, this house actually was pretty cheap. Like, I was kind of surprised. I was thinking like I was going to come out with like $100,000, like 100,000 simoleons, we should say. Let's switch to Sims terms. 100,000 simoleons on this house. But this house actually was just like, I think it was like 450 56, 54,000 simoleons, something like that. Like, it was pretty cheap. Like, if your Sims started out, um, they wouldn't be able to start out in this house, obviously. But, like, if your Sims got a job and they worked in that job and got paid, like, some good money um, for, like, I don't know, for, like, a, a good minute, 
they would be able to sell their house and then come and live in this one because this is this is like a the next level up kind of house. So it's not pricey pricey and it's very affordable. So yeah, and it, it and it is um, very designed and you know uh, really good looking for a cheaper house. You know what I'm saying? Like making cheap houses in The Sims is the struggle. Okay, it's the struggle to making it look good and also be cheap. Because <laughs> I've tried to do that, and using cheap items in The Sims is just, it's a, a tragedy. But, <laughs> hey, that's not us, you know. It's its realistic, though, in real life, how furniture is pretty pricey. Uh, but in The Sims, like, Sims is not real life, okay? So, we can at least have some cheaper furniture that still looks good like the cheap cabinets and the counters those are just trash like i just don't like using them because first of all the color swatches are just trash now if this was like sims 3 i would use the cheaper cab the counters and cabinets like all the time and just change up the um the color swatches and the textures of it because i mean if you could do that like there's no reason to have other counters unless like you can't change like the design of it like how it looks, like how the counter looks or something like that, or if like it has like a different handle on there, or if it has like a different texture to it and you can't change that texture, I don't know. Like if it's something like that, then okay. But if you can change the textures and the colors and stuff like that, like what's the point of having more than one counter, you know what I'm saying? But we don't have that in The Sims 4, so <laughs> yeah, the cheap counters and the cabinets are just not my thing. Uh, so I did not use that in this house. I actually used the Island Living ones, um, which do not come with cabinets, but they do come with shelving, um, which is more modern days now, because now people with modern houses have shelf cabinets rather than cabinets, and um, I think that's pretty cool, so I added that feature in there. Um, <laughs> and this house turned out pretty great. Um, right now we're just doing the, out the front porch, and just putting a few chairs. Actually, I changed out the chairs for like that uh, bench thingy. Um, it looks more like an outside, like on the porch sitting kind of couch bench looking thing. But it's considered a couch. And it goes inside the house. But I like it more on the outside because it just, it fits the vibes. <laughs> and right now we're on the back, um, on the pier part. Because I added a pier to this house, which I thought was literally the greatest idea because it literally goes out into like the beginning of the ocean and you can like walk down the stairs and just swim right into the ocean or you can get in your speed boats and just speed boat away <laughs> but without further ado guys um it's almost time for me to go we have like 20 seconds left until we hit the screenshots which are just going to be very just gorgeous and beautiful and also if if your sims live here your sims are living the dream okay <laughs> uh and also for cheap and also those are coconut trees that i just added there um, which are, look really nice in this house but anyways guys i will see you all tomorrow and love you all don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out one of my videos on the screen, <laughs> the end screen that I have. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave. Bye, guys.